Hi, welcome to SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our uh, coverage of the 2012 NBA playoffs right now with Jordan Sharp, who we've been talking to every week. It's uh, May 23rd, so OKC and the Spurs are the uh, matchup for the Western Conference Championship, and the East Series are about winding down right now. Jordan, thanks for being us with us again. Hey, thanks, Pete. It's good talking to you, man. So let's let's just start with uh, the Spurs and OKC. Now, the Spurs are uh, – actually, I think they've gotten bet up. They opened around minus 160, 170. Now, at Pinnacle, they're up to minus 199, and OKC is uh, plus 179. What do you make of those prices? That's about what I thought it would be, and honestly, I, I kind of thought that the Spurs would be favored even a little heavier than hmm. that, around 250. This is the Spurs series to lose. I think that they um, they should take both games at home. I, I can see that happening. All right. So you don't think I should hedge out of my uh, of my Spurs future to win the NBA championship, do you? Not not just yet. Not I wouldn't yet. I wouldn't start panicking just yet. Although, um, you know, as we've seen, there these playoffs have been a, a, a little bit of a wild card. So things like that can happen. But uh, I think that the uh, the Spurs uh, misfortunes happened all last year when they lost mm. in the first round. I think that they're going to get this this year, and uh, I still think I'm. I think you should be very confident in your in your bet with the Spurs to win it all. All right, okay. I guess I, guess I just feel a little bit similar to how I felt when we were talking about the uh, you know Memphis Clippers, and I was like, you know, I understand mm -hmm. that Memphis is a very uh, you know strong program in general, but I was like, look at the Clippers, Blake Griffin and Chris Paul is awesome, and 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 you know OKC, I would say you know Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant are even more awesome than. Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, if you can even imagine that. So, I mean, you don't think that that's how this is that they might be able to pull out a surprise here? That it's not a real concern? Obviously, it's a very, obviously it's a concern for the Spurs. But um, the one thing that we've seen from the Spurs this year is they've gone away from being a defensive oriented team to being an offensive oriented right. team, and that's kind of the style of play Oklahoma City plays. So, not only can they play them at their own game. They also have the capability of buckling down defensively. Greg Popovich is one of the best defensive coaches in this mm -hmm. league. He is going to devise schemes. You look, see what he did to Blake Griffin and Chris Paul if you watch those four very short games in the second round there. See how he devised a plan to take them out of the game and to frustrate them. He's going to be able to do it against Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Is he going to be able to do it to the extent of that? No, because both of those guys are extremely good players. They're both top ten players in this league. But he, they're going to find a way, and I think I completely agree. I, I think that um, – if I, I don't know what the odds are, I'm sure they're pretty. It's probably a long shot, but Spurs and six might be a good bet to take. Okay, and then uh, what do you think? What are you making of the Indiana Miami series? Now, a lot of people, Indiana was kind of like the uh, the chic pick, and they were getting seven and a half uh, in Game Five against uh, against Miami, and that that line got bet down to six and a half, and of course they got blown out. I mean, what's going on here? Now Indiana's a three and a half point underdog for a Game Six. What do you make of that line? Yeah, I was on the Pacers plus seven bandwagon. Yeah, that didn't work sure. out too well for me. But uh, um, I uh, actually just submitted my pick for this game, and I'm on the Heat money line. I just really can't see. Um, I, uh, the one thing, I, the reason I do do the money line and not the spread is just because it has been bet up so much, and uh, that that just that that turns me off a little bit most of the time. But I just really feel like, uh, and I wrote this in my article, will be published uh, later this evening on SBR Forum, but. Uh, I, the the Heat with LeBron and uh, Wade are just too good on the road, and they, they just really are crowd silencers, basically. And uh, I think that they, they the way they've been playing over the last two games is just on a different level. And I really said if one other Heat player can show up and score 10, 12 points, uh, this is going to be Miami series uh, after game six. Mm, all right. I guess that just about does it for now. Uh, Jordan Sharp will talk to you again next week.